So if you were to tell me what the one thing I should tell the parent when they do call me. Right. Do your best to find a pediatric audiologist because um, audiologists who tend to work more with adults are much more accustomed to fitting a hearing aid based on feedback from that person. And the feedback that they tend to get from adults is, oh, that's too loud, I don't like the way that sounds. And they tend to, when they're fitting children, they tend to underfit them. And so if a child's got a hearing aid and they're not getting benefit from it and they're not working with the pediatric audiologist, nine times out of 10, they're underfit. And we turn up the hearing aids and then we start to see responses. So and you pediatric. And you have that threshold for audiologists. They want to, that's the other thing I usually tell the parents and I, I hope that's correct as well. Of course, as you know, I have a severe to profound hearing loss and I wear hearing aids. So I do tend to make some statements that I think might be correct. And one is um, the audiologists are careful, especially with young babies, not to set the hearing aids so loud. You don't have to worry that their eardrums are going to break. So that's no. not true today. No. Yeah. No. The, I mean, we have formulas that are tested and used routinely where um, we know how much amplification to provide for a given hearing loss. And, you know, if we see any signs that a child is having an aversive reaction, you know, we, we then, then we need to check our results and make sure that we really know what the hearing loss is like and what type of hearing loss it is. Um, you know, parents are always worried about um, if they've read about auditory neuropathy, does my child have auditory neuropathy? And, and you need to be sure that you've seen someone who knows what auditory neuropathy is and, and has done all the testing to rule that out so that they know that they really are a hearing aid candidate.